Today, the sequel of the video below this one, the one about the Samsung S3 Mini, the 8190, I modded a very beautiful Lineage OS Puck ROM, iOS ROM, for this phone, and I like to show it to you, and in fact, it's, it's really nice, and it works amazingly good, so I think, uh, thanks to McClaw and Nova Fusion, uh, we could of course do this. Uh, this is uh, the build of uh, uh, the golden build of Nova Fusion uh, by McClaw. Can I have an applause for that, please? Thank you. So McClaw, thumbs up for you all there, and of course thumbs up for us all that can now, of course, enjoy uh, Lineage OS on the Samsung S3. So um, let me show you what it became and what you will get and how you should use it it's a little tutorial what i'm going to give you uh, of course in my previous video you already learned how to root it install twerp root it and then you know wipe all the partitions in twerp and then install lineage os we already did it you already saw it but now uh the, the rom that i modded now uh, you will be able to install it and then you will have the complete thing in one go after one flash, uh, you will have the complete thing for the 8190, but also for the 8190N, uh, and I think the L, but I'm gonna show that uh, soon to you. Okay, though, welcome. So this is the phone. This is what it became. I think that uh, the transparent paint was really needed to get this finishing touch. This thing looks beautiful, really. I also did it with my S4. Here you can see it. The S4 also looks beautiful. So all my all my gold uh, gold gold painted <laughs> plated painted phones, I will uh, give this beautiful finishing touch. Okay, but it's not about that. It's about the firmware. So this is it, the firmware by McClaw. And we have the control center, it's in. So let's get into the system. And this is exactly how the uh, system will boot up after you flashed uh, the Lineage iOS ROM. Okie doke, this is how you're gonna get it. Well, this might look a little bit different. This will look like, uh, onset the icon. This will look like this. I think this is the original look and feels. What you will get. Okay, so most of you will say, hey, but wait a minute. This is the old uh, classic skin of, 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 of iOS. That's not what we want. Hey, take it easy, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. Because I also have the updated iOS launcher hidden in this phone but you will not be able to get there yet first thing that you will have to do is go to settings okay you have to scroll all the way down then you go to about the phone and you go all the way down until you see build number you're gonna tap it until it says you are developer then you hit one back Okay, though, and you will see right above about this phone, you will have a new a new function saying developers options wasn't there yet. And up there you could turn on the advanced restart. Sometimes that is kind of easy, so you can do a quick reboot, a software reboot. And if you scroll down under demo mode, you will see root access. It will be set to disabled you must first enable it now you are powerful so now you go back okay though and then you go look for 
root browser. Here it is, the black icon. You click it open, you hit the home. It will ask for root permission. Give it a root permission. Now you will go scroll down until you see system. And in the system folder, I will have the updated launcher for you already placed so you can simply hit install. And then the old launcher will be updated. But if you want to do that, that's up to you. Up here in system, you will also find some folders uh, with icons, but that is for another project. But you will find some folders with icons and uh, what you will have to do to make these icons visible so you can use them is long press and then hit copy, hit the home again, go to SD card, look for your picture folder and paste it in there. After a reboot, all these icons will be visible and usable in this phone. Because this launcher is not just a launcher. This is a very fantastic launcher. You will be able to give this, this, this launcher and your phone every icon you wish. Even a picture. This is this is really, really powerful launcher. Only thing you have to do is long press an icon tap it and up here you will see change icon so you can go ahead change icon and go to uh, wherever um, these icons are in your gallery just hit gallery go to wherever the icon is select it and the icon will be changed and in this way you can go ahead and change each and every icon in any icon that you wish Okay, but you will still have this easy way of using your phone. Also, after the flash, you will immediately also have the boot animation. You don't have to go and fix it. It will be there already. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so after you flashed the ROM and you did a wipe data factory reset, don't forget to do that after flashing the, the Lineage iOS Pokrom, um, you will immediately have this, this, this boot screen, okay? And in fact, you will not be stopped uh, after you hit it log in, because there will be only one launcher. Uh, the Tribuchet launcher will be uh, removed out of this uh, iOS build, because it's 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 i uh, yeah the skin is ios that's what we want right after the reboot after a reboot after you already installed the system sometimes you might come into a home screen that doesn't show any icon that's kind of handy sometimes you just don't want to display your icons but in fact it's a bug how to see your icons again just long press the home button or if you're on some other phone, oh no, of course, this is about the Samsung S3 mini. Just long press the home and then slide some apps, kill them. Of course, not the firewall and then boom, your icons will be back. You see, that's how simple it is. Should you know a, uh, even more? Well, uh, we have, of course, the control center and you will have to set it up. And the easiest way to set it up is... Um, let me show that real fast to you because I don't want anything to annoy you. After you started the service, you go to the um, you go to the configurable con the touchable area area side the, where you can configure the, the touch. Set here on top at automatic, scroll down, set white to 10% and height to 5 dp. Go one more down, turn off arrow indicator display or arrow uh, display and touch vibration also if you, you know, also feel that it's annoying, turn that off. 
After that, you can go home and then it will be in the right position and it won't bother if you, for instance, type something here, you know, um, and you, you press you press the space, then it won't pop up because the way it's set up uh, automatically, it will pop up all the time and it will really annoy you. So you must fix that. OK, you must set it, set it right. But hey, isn't it fantastic that you can set that all up? So, um, yeah, what more? The iNote, we have iNote. Uh, I'm not sure if I already turned it on here. Turn on iNote. Here you can turn it on, uh, allow, and then you will have iNote. You see that? Also nice, and the colors. And this is the updated iNote that will show you that uh, the USB is connected. And you, by one more sliding, you will get into the original uh, control center of, 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 of Android. But here you can see USB charging the phone. Tap for more options. This was missing in our previous eye control. So I think uh, with this eye control, we also have an update. So yeah, thumbs up to the developers that worked on on, on this eye control, this eye notifier, uh, or this, this complete all the apps that I use. Thumbs up to you all. Uh, also Netsuka for the launcher, the eye launcher. You guys uh, really rock. You really uh, make my world. So thumbs up to you. And uh, of course, uh, thumbs up to McClaw and uh, Nova Fusion for the fantastic work on this beautiful, beautiful Lidditch OS ROM that works so good. Cam works, everything works. So yeah, you don't have to worry unless your name is Adam Curry. Now, what more to say about this phone uh, after we know that uh, the cam and the video works uh, just fine and that we can change uh, the icons into any icon we wish. Um, yeah, what can I say even more? Uh, so let me show you real fast uh, how we're going to update the look and feels because uh, some of you will only want to do that. You go to the system folder, you hit the updated launcher and we go to settings up here you will have to unblock uh, unknown sources let me see where is that here somewhere unknown sources you have to turn it on okay so now google is not responsible anymore and you are responsible for what you're gonna do and up here you're gonna select to all just like in windows and then install we're gonna override to all and boom we now have the updated iOS look and feels and we have the updated iOS launcher here boom and our search is gone you see we have no search anymore so that is a pity we don't have a search anymore uh, audio fx has stopped um, here you can see that uh, we do have a, a firewall and the firewall is running and up it's enabled uh, you must give it root access and you must turn it on here and here at mode you must set white mode to black mode you see that blacklist and then go ahead and select whatever you don't want uh, it to go to the internet and these apps will be blocked on the phone you also have of course the privacy guard also included a fantastic uh, option of of, of cyanogen mod uh, lineage OS these days um, that you can find in 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 your in your software in your phone and uh, in privacy you will be able to manage all the parts apps want to use and you can block them from doing that by just turning everything off even uh, the start at boot you can turn off from certain apps that you installed they don't have to boot uh, uh, with the phone because it's only making your phone slow and in fact you can boot them up whenever you need them right so that's just how it is um what more can i say uh, this samsung s3 mini uh, thanks to mcclaw became a fantastic beautiful phone so once again mcclaw great job uh, great job uh, nova fusion for you know the hostings and everything so big up to you um 
yeah so a uh, link in the description will also uh, lead to the official or the unofficial uh, nova fusion linux os and i will have a link to my media fire with the motodrum including the ios look and feels and these apps that i injected and go ahead and check it out uh, also look at whatever i did yeah, developers etc go go ahead and check out if uh, everything is okay and uh, yeah that's it more i don't have to say so the installing will be really easy you will first uh, install twerp 2.8 with odin and then you're gonna uh, go into the recovery mode and then you're gonna uh, uh, install super su for this phone yeah all these information you can find on the internet and in my previous video and then you're gonna flash uh, the ROM, but only after you did a complete wipe. And let me show that uh, before we're gonna uh, stop this video, uh, how to do the uh, how to do the wipe. So we're gonna go to recovery mode. And this should bring us to twerp 2.8. You see that uh, 2.873 uh, you will go to wipe advanced wipe and you're gonna select Dalvik system catch data internal storage not of course the micro SD card because otherwise uh, you will uh, <laughs> you will have a, a problem of course you will then lose everything that was on the micro SD card and <laughs> you won't be able to do the install so um, don't forget to do that it's really important and then you hit install select storage and go for your micro sd card there's no micro sd card in this phone um, and then simply point to the puck ios lineage rom and then boom uh, you will be installing it and yeah the system uh, will take very long before it will be uh, before you see any progress you won't see any progress you will only see something going uh, uh, like this and then at this after after some minutes five six seven minutes you will see boom uh, it installed and then you must go to wipe again and do a normal wipe just go to wipe and then pull uh, pull the the menu and then it will be wiped it's it's just a fine wipe and then you can reboot especially if you come from jelly bean otherwise you're gonna get the aqua error as we learned in our previous video and then you will be having this booting up for you and um, yeah looking all nice and beautiful and you will hear click but the sounds you must also set up uh, I'm not even sure if you know how to do that what you must do is go to settings and then you look uh, you look for sounds it will also make buzzing sounds, etc. I turn all these things off. Uh, vibrate on calls. I, I turn off these vibrations. And we can say link ring, ringtone to notification volume. That means uh, that the ringtone and the notification will, will be the same. So you, you should turn that off. And then go ahead and look for, for your ringtone. You see that? And uh, you won't have this, this what you see now, you won't have. Because um, these are all, yeah, what can I say? This, these are, yeah, I don't know how they dare to put this as a ringtone. The best ringtone is a normal phone ring, old phone. So it will be in here. Oh. This almost sounds like, this almost sounds like, yeah, it's, it sounds a little bit, it sounds a little bit thin, but it's better than all the other sounds. Okay, so, um, and uh, up here you can put in your alarm ringtone. I don't hear anything, probably because the volume is off or so. Oh, this is the notification sound, platinum. Osmium, whatever. 
So I'm gonna change all these things uh, as well and then we go to other sounds. Up here I uh, have the touch sounds I have on, but uh, docking sounds I can also turn on. So when you're gonna select the cable, you will hear a sound. I don't hear anything now. Charging sounds here. Oh, I must enable it. And notification sound. This is nice. Okay. You see that? When you remove the cable and you put it in, it gives a little sound. So um, then you're not done yet. Oh, wait. Other sounds. Vibrate on tap. No, I don't like that. So here you go back. And then you go back. And then you go to your keyboard. Language and input. Because up there you can also set some sounds. And then uh, you go to your keyboard. Q okay, your keyboard. This thing has a virtual keyboard and a physical keyboard. So where are the options? Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay, so here, uh, sound on key press. You see that? And vibrate, turn that off. At least if you like vibrations, you should keep it on. But for me, I don't like. And here, key press volume. You see, then you get this beautiful sound if you're gonna type something. For instance, uh, let's go to message. Plus, what should I do? Yeah. You see, that's how to get the click sounds. And you can also then, if you... You hear some click sound there, but you must fix that as well in here. Uh, lock screen, I think it was. So there are many things that you can set up. You can make this phone really beautiful. Lock screen sound, it was called. I think it was called. Um other sounds locking yes lock screen sounds but it's only not so oh yeah that's because i don't have the i don't have these these sounds include look here here i have the sounds you hear that i fixed the sounds the sounds still need to be fixed on this room so i'm gonna do that real fast so uh it might uh take a little before this room actually comes online for download but if you want to know all about it go to facebook.com and then pukram look for pukram just type pukram in the search and then go to the site uh and up there after you give the site a like you can send me a question and i will uh, send you the link uh, of course uh, you will be the first to get the link and uh, of course tips if you need some advice and Tudor is also admin of that site, so uh, you can also ask him. He also knows a lot about uh, about these kinds of uh, phones, Android. So uh, always get to us. Uh, check out Pukram on Facebook. And of course, uh, there you will also find the link of this beautiful, beautiful lineage iOS Pukram. Okay, peeps, uh, that was it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, be prepared for the i9070, the Galaxy Advance, because I have a beautiful Linux Mint uh, um, ROM coming up for this phone. And um, well, uh, it's it's a special story, but uh, soon, very soon, at least, if these guys reach the 1.5 million uh, dollars that they are looking for, uh, we will get a Linux phone. Yep, a Linux phone. It's called the Librem 5 and because of that I also got inspired to, uh, to mod a beautiful Android 6 uh, ROM by Epirex. The ROM is by Epirex uh, but a Linux Mint ROM uh, for the Galaxy Advance and I'm also going to create a mod for those that want, uh, that want this, this as well. Um, 
yeah but more about that in my next video so thanks again for watching if you like this video leave it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel of course but of course don't forget to hit the little uh, notification bell the notifier so you will get a notification whenever I upload a video uh, and I create many videos and we still have some videos to come because we have a goal of uh, 2000 videos we're gonna reach 2000 that uh, will be uh, a magical number 2000 videos uh, on channel 48 for you uh, to watch uh, uh, it will take you years to watch them all but uh, good luck so until my next video I say good weekend, hasta la vista, and I need some coffee now.